Okay, welcome to part 28, where today we're going to be playing Sansu 1, Sansu 1 Nen. Yes, these are the other games from that Sansu series I mentioned earlier when I played the third one. So yeah, this is Sansu 1 Nen. This one's probably my favourite, just because of this game. I like the music. So yes, 9 plus 1 is, of course, 10. But we're just going to drive down the screen for a bit, because I like this music. Yeah, I have played this game before, I do like it. Basically, you drive down a road, and you have to drive into the car that matches with you. Uh, yeah, let's just hope they've got no claims bonus, or something. So yeah, let's drive into the 9. Driving into the cars without anything on them, uh, that's not good. I've done it before, trust me. So yeah, careful drivers, driving to people who's lucky numbers. Okay, apparently the game crashed. Wonderful. Great, let's move on. Um, Sansu 2. Let's hope this one doesn't crash. Okay, it's... Ah, yeah, I know this one. So we have to go through, like, a dungeon or something. Okay, a maze. It's like a dungeon crawler. Sort of. Like a really early dungeon crawler. Yeah, you'll find the treasure. Yeah, basically you have to go around looking for treasure. Every now and then you run into a monster who asks you a question. Although I'm actually get away without him asking one this time around. Uh, so here's the second level. Hey, I found the treasure again. Getting pretty lucky with finding the treasure, I must say. Normally it isn't this easy. Ah, here we go. Yeah, monster asked you a question, and you have to get right. So, 54. And yeah, if you get the question wrong, I think you lose, if I'm in critically. But I haven't answered a question wrong in this. Oh, I never want so soon. 33. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's just let's just finish this dungeon and we'll move on. I'm sure there's some other games that are on these things, but I can't be bothered with the extra games. So I just just simply can't be bothered with them. I might cover them at a later date if I feel like it. Sansu 4. This one kind of runs to Castlevania, and you'll kind of see why later. So yeah, you play as this bloke who has to try not to get killed by monsters. Uh, there's a Ah, yeah, you have to open the doors like that. And I think you're supposed to cut up these things. I forget, actually. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that killed me. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how to play the squad in a world net. So, open the door, please. Uh, don't, I don't want to get killed by that thing. I gotta say, this comments with the, the sort of overhead parts of Guardian Legend. Except I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here, to be honest. You hit by enemies? Ah, okay. The boxes have numbers in them. So, let's see. 62, uh, 100. I don't even understand that. I mean, I know it's long division, but. I don't understand what the an I don't understand you get the answer. It's like they have to do it the long way around. I normally just skip straight to the answer because I can. It's just easier that way. But yeah, uh, next game is Sansu 5, which is actually Sansu 5 and 6. Yeah, it's also. Yeah, this one I like. It's, uh, it's like a shoot 'em up. You fly around, you shoot stuff. It's a bit like Gradius, except not quite as good. And I think every now and then they ask you a question or something. Presumably, I mean, all the other games are, you know, educational, so. Okay, I've died like an idiot. Quite simple, really. You shoot down enemies, and. Well, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing it works something like to collect the power because you have to answer a question or something. That's, that's what I presume. I haven't really played this one yet, I will admit. They haven't really bothered asking me any questions so far, so maybe they just gave up on the whole maths thing because they figured, well, kids don't want to learn about maths, so let's just make a random shoot 'em up. I've got to say, the ship is surprisingly big for a Famicom shooter. Kind of looks like the one from. Well, what was that game we played earlier? Macross. Okay, that's just part of the background, it didn't kill me. And I have to find. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. It's like. Yeah, this is like that thing. Okay, well the questions are more difficult, I give it that much. 
94 times 0 0.18 equals something 52. That's got to be 0, isn't it? Uh, which question box? Uh, oh, I see what I've got to do. I've got to go to the 0, I think. I mean, it's got to be 0, isn't it? Okay. So let me go to the 0. Uh, presumably I'll put it in here. No, apparently putting it into that box kills me. I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next game, which is not sound suit, it's Shockwave. Okay, Shockwave. Ah, this one I know. This is a uh, this is one of the games off the the what's it called? Yeah, this is actually a game off the thingy, the Maxi Fifteen. Uh, it's a basic puzzle game. What you have to do is you have to collect these things by you have to blow up these blocks, and yeah, it's quite simple, though, as far as the licensed games go, at least the American produced ones, it's actually not bad. I wouldn't say it's great, but, you know, it's playable. So yeah, you fly around, you, you have to collect these, whatever these are, that are now, I'm guessing they're crystals or something. I mean, you collect them while you walk to the next level. It's not a bad game, it's a pretty simple puzzle game, really. And it works. Okay, four corners. Okay, this one I I know what to do here. Yeah. And yeah, music isn't great, but aside from that, the game's not bad. Graphics are pretty decent. And the gameplay works well enough. And let's walk in here. Go for this. Well, I'm. I guess it's supposed to be teleported, but it just looks like a door. So yeah, we walk to the other side of the level. And don't get hit by this thing, because it will kill you. Uh, I forget what I'm supposed to do here, actually. And I'm supposed to do something, but I can't remember what. Uh, yes, that's how you win. Okay, and we should be done with this level right about now. Yay, I win. Okay, time for, well, time for the next game, because I can't be bothered with the rest of them. can't be bothered with the rest of the game. Super Monkey, if that's the game I'm thinking of, oh god. Uh, bugger. Yeah, I have this game on the multicart, and it is absolutely terrible. Basically, it's like an, an early adventure game or something like that. It's supposed to be based off... Uh, I forget what it was called. It's based off... Oh, it's... Uh, Journey to the West, I think. It's supposed to be like an adventure game or something like that. But it's just so awful, it's just not even worth playing. Basically, you're a monkey, as the name would suggest. And you have to walk around into random spots which teleport you to other maps as I will demonstrate here and this game moves incredibly slowly as you've probably noticed so yeah we walk to a forest even though there was no defined entrance there I forget what I'm supposed to do now not like it matters because the game sucks anyway but, I mean this game is so bad you literally have loading screens between areas or some areas at least it's like what kind of Famicom game needs loading screens it's pretty stupid but yeah, as you can probably tell, this game sucks, so moving on. Next up is Tetsu Do. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, by DB Soft, apparently. And it's all Japanese, wonderful. I've got a clue what I'm doing. Picking that, it's not doing anything. Uh, 39. Okay. What is this? Uh, can't stop Monopoly. Kind of. Being the important word there. Uh, where do I want to go? Go west! <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm going. Uh, okay, what's going on? I don't know what's going on! Okay, B3. You sunk my battleship! Nah, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> Mind you, this is probably better than the battleship game. Not really sure, actually, because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Okay, I'm apparently I'm playing against opponents, but I haven't got a clue what's going on, so... Uh, what's going on? 
<laughs> Let's screw that. Uh, next game is Tolls of Fate. Ah, this one I do like. This is another game that was off the Maxi 15. And this is a puzzle game. It's basically that game we have to match up the tiles. It's, um, I have this on the Game Boy. I, think, I forget what it was called in the Game Boy though. I think it was called uh, She Sent You or something like that. Or Match Mania, I can't remember. But it's a pretty simple game. It's actually not bad. It's another unlicensed game, as you can probably tell. And it's not bad. I mean, granted, it is just a game that was released on the Game Boy, but still. And presentation wise, it's pretty good. The music's good. Graphics, well, they're good enough for you to make it what the pieces are, at least. And I do like this game. I, I was always a fan of these kind of games myself. Ooh, I want that. Yeah, you can get pay ups as well. That I do like. Uh, can I win at this point? Hopefully. I should be able to, because there's not that many pieces left. Uh, yep, I want to match that. No, I don't want that. And, should be doing this level right about now. Yay, I win. And that's that. Obviously the game does get harder as it goes on, as you would expect. But yeah, I'm not, but for the sake of the series, I'm just going to say, <laughs> join me in the next part. Well, I shall play To The Earth. See you then.